three, two, one. All right, let's get into this intuitive message, this guided reading, this tarot card reading for T.I. This reading is alleged and for entertainment purposes. Sometimes it's T is hot and sometimes it's not. You have to watch the video to the end to determine for yourself. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're always here, welcome back, friend. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, okay? All right, so when it comes to T.I., mm, there is something that is just busting and bubbling and ready to come out. And Spirit said before that, like on the surface, Spirit is acknowledging that they're trying to reconcile. They're trying to have you reconcile. Thank you, Spirit. They're, they're trying to send you messages and synchronicities to have truthful communication like reach out and touch this person's hand you know who it is you know what this is about this is communicated but it's also something that they want you to do with that solar plexus chakra beaming bright like a diamond you understand what i'm saying like you need to be able to do this on your own um you need to come to the conclusion on your own thank you spirit will help you but you need to come to the conclusion on your own they want you to come up with this plan of having truthful communication um, because integrity is needed there is an energy of seeking divine intervention surrender and reconciliation this is layered. There is something spiritually that you need to do to reconcile and reach out and touch your ancestors' hand, your people that walk with you, your angels, your masters, your um, ascending masters. Thank you. And uh, there is something that you need to do, like an affiliation with possible um, seeking of a religion or seeking of some type of pastoral relationship or connection, reconnection spirit is acknowledging because there's something that's getting ready to bubble and bust at the belly and the throat. And this is divinely intervened. There's nothing he can do about it. It's to keep him on his righteous path but this is what spirit is saying that they need him to do because it's getting ready to happen and so it's almost like a cush to cushion the fall because there's going to be a fall sending him love and light there's communication honesty courage sharing revelation surprise news text and a phone call and spirit said that this has him in a space this is a dual energy because it's a female energy as well but this is a dual energy it has him in a space of wanting to escape <clears throat> Due to his overindulgence and rebellion, it's a swirl of communication. In one hand, there's music, and another hand, there's beverage. So he's overindulging. There is a candle, so he is lighting this candle, you know, just praying and asking um, for spiritual intervention, for spiritual guidance. He needs to get grounded around this energy, and spirit is there. At the heart of it, he wants peace. But this is a dual energy. There's a female energy coming through saying the exact same thing when it comes to him. This is quite interesting. Okay. TI turn energy. Okay, and Spirit is acknowledging is he just had a birthday. It's around his birthday. One card, please. It's just too many for me, y'all. Sorry. T.I. Thank you. Okay, so we get the moon in reverse. So there's something that he's not ready to face. And he keeps saying that. There's a lie that he keeps telling himself. And he needs to stop lying to himself, of course. I mean, if you're going to lie to somebody, don't lie to your damn self, okay? <laughs> My goodness. But there's fears that he's not ready to accept. There's um, situations that he's not ready to accept. Um, because he knows that it comes with anxiety. So he's still lying to himself about some things. Too much analyzing is getting you nowhere. Stop overthinking things. You may be exhausted from second-guessing yourself all the time and losing your footing. See? Get grounded. Are you insecure about your your ability to make good choices, step back and regroup and enter into a more trusting relationship with the flow of life. Don't become overly concerned about perceived mistakes. How will you learn to dance if you don't occasionally take a misstep? There is a misstep coming. There is something coming and spirit is trying. His ancestors are trying to cushion the fall by saying, do it first. Say it first. Get it out there. On the moonlit pathways, you can discover love and truth and wondrous things. There is nothing to fear but fear itself. Go play, have fun, and stay open and trust. Okay? Because whatever is coming is coming. And just trust the synchronicities, trust the universe, trust source, trust God, that this will keep you on your righteous path or get you back on your righteous path. Okay? So T.I. and Tiny, what's the current energy? <clears throat> somebody is coming for either of them who there's a there's a male energy and he's protected um but there's some this energy is coming for you and this is because you're cute as fuck okay so this is layered this is very very layered and this don't feel like no romance between the two of them i'm just being i'm being completely honest um and this is praise the lord i got out praise the lord thank you because he was in a relationship anyway and now you ready to slap someone and he's in the public eye, she's in the public eye, you're in the public eye, and you're lost for words. 
And now you're trying to stay positive and you should have said no to him. Because they're going to stay together regardless. That's just how they get That's how they get down. And now you're no longer waiting. And you are the victim. And who is this person? I have no clue because I don't have a name. But there is some Sagittarius energy. This person could be a fire sign. This is a very passionate and chaotic situation. And she's already saying, fuck, I miss him. Or he's saying, fuck, I miss her. I'm sorry. Yeah. So <clears throat> I already felt a tangled web with the cards. But he's coming for another individual, another female who is cute as fuck. Okay. Thank you, spirit. Um, it does feel like a tangle web, you know. And the spirit just said, try, try again. And it's dual. It's layered. Like, spirit's like, try, try again, get on your righteous path. But he's like, if at first I don't succeed, try, try again. He keeps trying with this person. Who is it? I don't know, you guys. All right, so it ain't time. And this reading is alleged and for entertainment purposes. Sometimes the tea is hot and sometimes it's not. Spirit is acknowledging with the King of Swords and some air sign energy that he's a thinker. He has a structured plan. He likes to get ahead of everything. He likes to be the first person to say the most prophetic thought. Okay? He likes to be that person. Spirit is saying that he's discerning, he's disciplined, he's ethical, military, legal matters are coming. Logic and power. Okay? With the Eight of Wands, he better keep thinking because there is something that is coming very fast with the Eight of Wands. Very passionate. A fire sign, but also also chaotic it's fast movement energetic it's exciting time something is growing here something is manifesting something is harvesting ready to be harvested okay infatuation impulsivity results what is this sir in the middle of the deck this is going to leave him in an energy of saying you know what let me gather my stuff because i need to figure out which way i'm gonna go i might have to leave i might have to go abroad i might have to seek freedom from all of my life experiences just when i thought things was going to get better here we go again with something that's they hit him like bam da, 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 da. let the boys be boys all right ti current energy <clears throat> with the hermit car he is seeking spiritual enlightenment solitude inner guidance introspection reflection and it's okay to be alone he's going to be sent to sit in silence with a spiritual silence like hey you really need to figure this out and again it just keeps saying for him to get on his right path thank you spirit um but there's some hermit energy sagittarius energy not sagittarius virgo energy thank you spirit with the eight of cups there's an energy of him having to walk away this is very emotional water sign energy i mean he's got to have the courage to face these mountains and and he feels like he's going to be disappointing a lot of people he's even disappointed in himself but introspection is hindsight 2020 you know what i'm saying um in the middle of the deck spirit is acknowledging that there's something about the situation that does make him feel like his wishes have come true there's this energy of him being an entertainer um having fame and rewards and this part of life is like i did it i reached the plateau of the su of success for him you know i guess Spirit is just saying like coming from where he came this is something that you know he just wants to continue to elaborate on like uh, I am this energy I am this person I, I pull myself up out of the mud kind of energy so it's like don't blame me for what I do I come from a place where this is acceptable this is okay this is what I know and there's no excuse for the behavior um, and this is just what energy is saying okay uh, current energy for T.I. and Tiny Thank you, spirit. There's some overindulgence, no social life, and canceled events due to an event that creates a lot of emotion. Could be a water sign involved. Spirit is acknowledging that this has to do with the wrong decision, memory loss. Like, I don't remember I did that. Hmm, really, sir? Uh, lack of direction with the Ace of Swords. So negative thinking within this relationship, negative thoughts, negative actions. And Spirit is also acknowledging that this has to do with manipulation from a bad, a bad mom. Now, this is a very layered energy. Who's the bad mom? Because Spirit is not acknowledging Tiny, okay? Spirit is acknowledging there's somebody else that's ready to 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 open the curtain like let the light shine in and let everybody know what's been going on behind the scenes this energy is ungrounded okay and that's when i asked about him and his wife wow okay so what is his biggest obstacle ti's biggest obstacle ashe 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 oh remember i read biggest obstacle in reverse thank you all right, his biggest obstacle is recklessness, a lack of self-control, and excess with the temperance, not having any balance, doing too much, creating a lot of emotion and issues for himself. You know, when they say you're the captain of your ship, sir, why are you choosing rocky waters? Um, another big obstacle for him is manipulation from a bad mom who was ungrounded. The second time we see this card with the queen of pentacles, she's not conforming anymore. I mean, she's she's conforming now. She's like, you know what? I got you. I was a non-conformist before. I wasn't going to do the T, 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 but now I got you. I'm out. I'm open. I'm out here. 
<clears throat> am I going to write a memoir? Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Kind of energy. And this is the end of punishment. That's an obstacle for him. You keep feeling like you're dealing with punishment, especially when it comes to this female energy. Fighting back and trying to escape are all obstacles with the Eight of Swords. So normally when you when he's a quick thinker, he can't think on his feet in this situation. This is negative thought after negative thought after negative thought. What's next for T.I.? Oh, thank you, spirit. Here we go again. Manipulation, bad mom, and an ungrounded. This female energy is Queen of Pentacles, who is a conformist now. She's conforming to the fact that you want, you know what? You want me to put you out there? I'm going to put you out there. It's just what Spirit keeps saying to me, okay? Normally, she's a non conformist. She's a conformist now. Virgo, I mean, Virgo energy. Why would I say that? I would say Earth sign energy and Virgo came out. Okay. But anyway. <clears throat> This is going to affect his nine of cups, his wishes coming true, his entertainment, his fame, his rewards, his abundance, his good health, okay? Um, and this is going to bring an end to the punishment. He is going to try to fight back and escape this energy uh, with the eight of swords. But again, he's thinking negatively about it in the middle of the deck. Again, spirit is just like a manipulation, manipulation, manipulation due to the abuse. And abuse can be physical, mental, spiritual. You know what I'm saying? It can be all of those things. So we don't, I don't know what level of abuse spirit is acknowledging. But there has been abuse here and it's um, man manipulative moving forward. And spirit said that there's a dangerous man involved now we could be talking about him and how he reacts to the situation or there could be someone else in in, in regards to the situation but either or sending him love and light this reading is alleged and for entertainment purposes <laughs>